Nota is always macroscoping issues and usually gets hate in return. But on this one, his examples are quite spot on and I thought it would be nice to share with you. Nota has been in tours with so many rappers. He is so different from Prince KB. Both are very wise, knowledgeable, but also tends to step on people's shadows. A high tea squad. Here, Nota speaks about his views on Caspano Vest taking over at the Bright Show. He said once a rapper takes over a TV presenter, show he automatically hangs the mic because people will never take him serious roles are being reversed he said i think being a tv presenter is a dumb move for any rapper when aka did it it was like well okay it's a lockdown thing so he was doing it on his app so i didn't think too much of it as soon as it became like a tv show i was like um this is the end he said he then at his squad stretched the point that even if he makes it work his image would still be tainted it's not about him making it work it's about being a tv presenter it means that's the end of your career as a musician not a said he spoke of people like Jup Jup who will never flourish as artists as they would have if they had stayed as artists. Another person he mentioned was Zola7, whose music went on a down low when he started his presenting job. But one person he did not speak of is AKA, who was originally the presenter of the Bright Show, and his music still trended. I've seen it happen even to the biggest stars. Zola7, he was a musician, super famous, and then they used his fame to sell this TV show. And then what happened? He became a TV presenter, and then no one cared about the music anymore. It's career suicide. Any rapper that decides to become a TV presenter, hang up the mic. You will never come out and no one will ever take you seriously as a musician again, he concluded. At his squad, do you think that being a presenter may have been a very bad musical decision for Caspano Verst. Does being a household name interfere with talent? And that's it for now, T-Squad. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.